guys it's melanie and welcome to episode two of my moving diaries right now we are packing my car it is currently 7 45 p.m hopefully 12 hours from now we will be starting our long drive down to the bay but for right now let's see if everything i've packed so far is gonna fit into my car it is almost 8 p.m. <laughs> Alex is here packing my car, playing Tetris for... He's done this many times. He's very experienced at it. If I do say so myself, I think I've done a pretty decent job of... Why is he laughing? No, just... If I do say so myself... Yeah, if I do say so myself... <laughs> Yeah, if you saw my college moving stuff, it was hectic. There was a stage in my life where I thought if I just threw stuff in a bag, it would be the same size as if I folded it. And that was a rough move. But this time I used vacuum bags and I cannot shut up about how good vacuum bags are. I'll update you guys in, I don't know, 30 minutes or however long it takes to pack this car. <laughs> So the trunk is getting a little bit full. It'll be he's doing all the packing. And I'm just documenting it. Hi guys, good morning. It is 8 a.m. right now and we are packing up our final things and we are about to start our road trip. Let's see how long it is right now. All right, we got about a 12 hour road trip ahead of us. I'm sure we're gonna make a lot of stops along the way though. Coffee is definitely gonna be the first one, but I cannot believe I'm actually saying goodbye to this room and it's not just college. We're gonna have to do one last circle. Bye room, goodbye home, and I will see you guys on the road. I cannot believe today's the day. So, we have an update. We were about to leave my house and then Alex spotted a nail in my tire. We're not at Costco, trying to figure things out. Costco tire center, yeah, we're not shopping. Yeah. Hopefully we'll be able to still get on the road today. And we're off. Hooray! got in at like 2 a.m. We were so tired. We got a solid, I don't know, six, seven hours of sleep and we're about to go get coffee and breakfast and check out our place for the very first time, which is so crazy to think about. I don't know if I mentioned this. I think I hinted at it in the last video, but we toured our apartment complex, but we haven't seen our actual unit that we're moving into or the layout of it. So we're gonna go check that out. And of course I'm bringing you guys with me. But guys, yesterday the drive was kind of crazy. We used to do that drive, I think we counted doing it four total times for school. I've done it more times with my dad, but Alex and I have done it like four times together. And we were getting so tired. I think it's because it gets dark earlier and because of the whole like car tire thing, we left like almost three hours later than we were planning to and so we were just so tired and driving in the dark through the mountains was like kind of scary so i was a little bit stressed <laughs> i was counting and we stopped like almost 10 times because we had to keep getting like food and stuff to keep us awake that's why it took us so long to get here but honestly just praise god that we made it here safely because the drive was getting a little bit scary we're gonna get bagels and i will see you guys at the apartment <laughs> We're at our new place and we're just kind of in shock right now. We're also super hungry, so we're just gonna hang out and eat and enjoy our empty space before we start filling it in with all of our stuff. I got a bagel. I got a bunny. And of course, we have a coffee and let's. Guys, we just walked through a place for the first time. I'm gonna show you a little empty apartment tour. Okay guys, welcome to our apartment. 
apartment. I am so excited for it. I'm gonna do a brief little walkthrough tour. Starting off, it's our kitchen. I am so in love with our kitchen. I think it looks so nice and I love especially all of this like cabinet space. Like, are you kidding me? I can't wait to put all my thrifted dishes and like hand painted mugs in here. There's all of these drawers. I don't know. I feel like kitchen is something I really cared about when I was looking at apartments and there's just so many kitchens that had like weird countertops or not enough drawers or weird colored wood and I just think this place looks really nice so I'm excited. Can't wait to put all of our kitchenware out. We have a nice oven and hopefully this one works because if you guys watch my college vlogs my oven did not work and your girl loves baking so there's that. We also have a lovely fridge that has an ice maker. I grew up without an ice maker and since I love ice coffee that was actually something I wrote down on my list that I really wanted for my future apartment so we achieved that. Do like an overview of this space? The shape of our apartment's a little bit funky, so it's gonna have to take a little like creativity for how to furnish it, but I think we have some plans in mind. You know, I've been Amazon shopping, Facebook marketplacing, doing all the things recently because I'm so excited to decorate here. But our living room, living area space is honestly, it's a little bit tiny, but I think it'll be cozy. I think it'll be good once we get our couch, our rug, all the things in here. Honestly, we look really hard for south-facing windows because we care about the lighting and things. So hopefully it looks good right now. I thought the lighting looked pretty good. It's also probably really echoey right now, but it's okay. We have a tiny little balcony that I'm not going to show right now, but hopefully I can put some plants and stuff out there. We put a TV here or something. I don't know. Anyways, this little like triangle space is kind of funky. It's a little weird, but we're gonna figure it out. Hopefully we'll get a big mirror or something to open this space. Hopefully we'll have like a cute kitchenette and like I want a coffee station so bad. And I already know it's gonna go right here. Right here is the bedroom. It looked so tiny on the website and I was trying to like use the 3D tools to measure everything to see if the bed I ordered is gonna like fit and stuff. But honestly, it feels pretty decent. It's kind of a funky shape. It's almost like, what, a pentagon a little bit? Like it's a little, it's not like a square, but I think it's pretty good. We have a nice big window. We have a huge closet that's walk-in, which is so cool. I cannot wait to color coordinate all my clothes and hang it up neatly and nicely. So that's exciting. I also ordered a bunch of like my bedding stuff and I'm a sucker for a good bedding layout. So I can't wait to go look at all of that. This is a tiny little storage closet. You know we're gonna need this space. I have a lot of <laughs> craft supplies and things. This is a little washer and dryer, which I'm so happy to have in house. And this is our bathroom. It's also kind of like a funky little shape, but honestly, it's cool. We're vibing with it. It has a huge mirror. I do wish it had like some kind of natural lighting, but I think that's not really realistic for an apartment. I think it looks so nice. I can film little like get ready with me clips in here or I don't know, do whatever. All right. Yay. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this little empty apartment walkthrough. I can't wait to completely transform this place with you and bring you guys along as I decorate and furnish it. Okay guys, I think I'm gonna end off this video right here. Alex and I are about to go for our first intense Target run. We're gonna buy a bunch of cleaning supplies and all the fun stuff like toilet paper and trash bags. So I don't know if you guys need to join for that, but I'm so excited to bring you guys along for episode three because in a couple days, we're gonna have all of our stuff moved in here. We're gonna be organizing, deep cleaning, unpacking, and then soon enough, we're gonna be shopping and furnishing and thrifting for this place. So I am so excited for what comes next after all of the work of packing and unpacking and apartment searching. But thank you guys so much for joining us for this crazy video where the video started in Washington and now 
we are here in our new apartment. I'm so happy that you guys are here with me and I'm seriously, I'm so excited to edit this and just see the journey. But seriously, thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you so much for supporting me. It means the world. You are literally the reason I am able to do this and it means everything. So thank you guys so much and I am excited to see you in the next episode. Bye guys.